Hey, what's going on, YouTube? We back with another one. Welcome to Drink World. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like button and the subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you can stay in tune. We got the Ace Boys getting that poetic flock over today. Let me know what y'all think down below after we get into the video. We're going to get right into it right now. I, I ain't going to lie. The Ace Boys always entertaining. Shout out to them. Don't flag me. Don't flag me. You know what it is. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know the rules it's like just, that. Now, again, I don't know if people are just lying and on purpose or if they truly don't know, right? They do. Um, right? They just uh, call uh, Flacco. They just like, call um, Flacco. Um, saying, right, that, that, like, I just, like, called them out and out the blue. That's false. Those dudes got multiple videos mm. calling me out. It came to my attention. So I said, bro, these dudes suck at podcasting, right? Like, he writes, you feel me? They're just wrong and bad at it. <laughs> Right, so again, do you think I'm some battles myself, are not bro. worth fighting? Do you think that some battles you just let them go? Like, hey, it's not worth it, cuz like every every you don't have to be right every time. Sometimes you just gotta be like, you know what, let that shit go. No, because he thrives on this shit. These niggas live and thrive on this shit. This y'all all shit thrive ended on today. This nigga, their lives will be different. Nigga, they 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 thrive off this shit. These niggas was nerds and dorks before this. Nigga, they they nerds and dorks when the cameras cut off. This nigga's a dork. I'm not talking like, why are and we so, doing this? Like, this so shit I, nerdy, like, Okay, okay. So, oh, because he's... So, oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, wait, so, right? So, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Right? Wait, question though, right? Go ahead, Flacco. And that's why they lose every time, right? You feel me? Because, like, this, Who? like, weird perspective of... Because they street niggas, they could disrespect, violate, and fuck us over. And we should shut the fuck up and take it. But we're not going for that no more, bro. How are you not going for it? We'll pop out. How are you? Bro, how, we, like, we, how are you? How are you not going for it? Pop out! Pop I'm up. always Why going trying to do press again. The video. Just make it speak up for myself, bro. Those niggas ain't gonna sit on YouTube, disrespect me, and then you yeah. say shut the fuck up and take take it. Why? Because the street niggas, bro. I don't care. You should. Keep, so my look at this is my thing. So you are at a place where you say, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm gonna go with it. But I'm telling you, that's not a place you need to go, cuz. That's not a place that you actually want to go. You are on a platform where you can go be successful and grow and be in whatever industry, whatever you call this that you're doing to avoid that. Why pick a battle that's a losing he's battle? Not, well, um, like now you try to I, I stand on that I don't know if he's necessarily picking battle the battle, but self-defense is self-defense, bro. Win. Why he have to that's run away? Why does he have to win. hide? Because y'all niggas want to be immature and kill over ignorance. conversation. And that's, that's where you want to stand? Those guys are no 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 no, 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 don't podcast. They don't, can't take it. Put it, don't put what it, do don't, don't get stuck on them, but just where you're focusing your energy, like exactly where you're focusing your energy. Do you think that that's where your energy is best suited? Sure, right? Right, listen, right? Look, is the only sure, sound mind that's on the, the show, best place bro. for you to focus your energy only on somebody mind. like that's maybe taking shots at you that you could just like duck and dodge and be like, I ain't worried about that. shit. I'm on some other things, I'm on a bigger platform, I'm going at this. But why even like? And why I'm not, not saying that my niggas over there is. Why are you not saying this to your homies though? It's small and they ain't saying? got nothing like, going on. Niggas but be afraid it's to a, talk to their friends. Totally but they're, no, they're very small, right? So I mean, right? Because uh, the last upload did like. And they'll always find people, a reason why it doesn't apply right? to their friends. When you say small, like when you say response, when you say small, you break it down to numbers. I'm talking about on a personal level, a person. And, and, and they have no impact as well. On what? Impact on what? You don't even know what they do in real life. Podcasting. You can't, be, you can't belittle See, you're you only talking about people. podcasting. I told you that's what that's you're all only they talk, you're talk, you can't say you it's about podcasting if you're saying street shit. Oh, these niggas is street. You just no, then you bring you up podcasting. On a po Go ahead. I'm I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, guys. With the right look, if you address me and right put me on the here, right? If they address me and on a podcast, I'm saying, right? If I decide, yo, listen, fuck it, I'm gonna do like two seconds of charity work, right? You feel me? I mentioning them. Two seconds of bro, charity two work. Two seconds of charity work, you feel me? And that... keep it going, right? I mean, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean this, right? I mean this. Bro, I would never mention those dudes again. Cause because bro, they ain't doing nothing. You feel me, right? But when I see a clip of them talking shit for months and I respond back with two seconds of charity work, I don't think the conversation should be. Oh man, you messing with those street dudes because they tough. No, it's bro, bro. We should it's all not, either. So leave. look, you keep you getting it. I'm not saying. I'm talking about for just in general, not because they tough. 
But you keep, whenever I bring up a point, you say, oh, it's because it's podcasted. But then you start talking about some street shit. You're not going to win on street shit there because you're trying to narrow everything down to the smallest figure of a podcast. A podcast ain't shit. A podcast ain't going to save you. What the fuck do you think a podcast is? Well, do you think, well, it's, a, well, you think it's like a comfort blanket? Some sense of security that you have a microphone and a camera and that that's that's a safe world. No. And what I'm trying to tell you that is so much more beyond that. And I don't ever want like and I'm not trying to put or manifest any negativity on anybody, but a lesson will be learned. I don't want anybody to have to learn a lesson and then be blinded by that shit and be like, well, damn, I thought we was podcasting. I thought we was podcasting. This is just entertainment and content. But what I'm trying to tell you is that that's not the world. That's not everybody. It's a lot of niggas that's gotten into this space that are just learning this space. And you're taking it as if, nigga, everybody's going to break down and go to like, oh, that nigga was, I forgot. It was just content, dog. But here's my question. Why does he have to adjust to the, to the, to the mindset of the ignorant? You know what I'm saying? I never subscribe to that. Like, just because you're ignorant and willing to go do some dumb shit me or some shit over like the most minimal thing i i never felt like i needed to change my ways because i'm not i'm not doing that like if I, if simple words may may and completely like you know what i'm saying i'm a man so i understand certain shit it, it shouldn't be said if you're not gonna do certain shit you know what i'm saying you don't threaten anybody you don't invite people to your meet you know what i'm saying certain shit that you don't do if you're not willing for consequences and you can't control somebody's reaction but my expectation of a human wouldn't be that they would be so off the wall, especially if, if you're talking like this, in that same regard, you, you shouldn't be willing, like what, like not, you shouldn't be willing, but why should I, I, sh I do think you should be willing to, to not go that route, but why should I have to like dumb down the way that I'm willing to live in, in, and it's not harming anybody else. Like he's only having conversation, he's having a podcast. If these, if his words are harming you to the point that it emotionally causes you, or, you know what I'm saying? It emotionally frustrates you to the point where you gotta go do something to this man physically, then, you need to really check on yourself and anyone who thinks that they need a dumb or someone else needs to change their actions because people are out here in the world that'll do something to you newsflash yo everybody's not as dangerous as they may think and like you may be you know what i'm saying you may have done some shit in the hood i don't know i'm not saying this about rios or anybody on this video i'm talking in general people with this mindset that have some form of you know what i'm saying some stripes or some form of recognition in the hood or the area you may have you may have may have did a few things in that area but i promise you bro niggas don't be going to the range niggas don't be having no form of training or never really did shit never really held a rifle or pistol never used either one used a shotgun like and did any form of training like to be an average gun owner, you had to have done some form of training. And I've, I've completely, even in the beginning of my second, possible Second Amendment days, hypothetically, com like possibly amazed a ton of people with basic knowledge that you learn in like a singular class, basic instruction that you learn in a singular class, basic actions that I learned in a singular class, training and skills from a couple classes, completely surpassing people who, you know what I'm saying? I would have thought would be, would be well equipped as people who've held guns and played with guns and shit, man. Don't get yourself bodied by Flacco trying to a, He's on a talk podcast. A podcast ain't shit. A rusty ass 380. A podcast is 22. nothing. Nigga, your whole life is out here. Your whole life is, is more than just a fucking podcast. Why do you bring that shit up so much? Or why do you put so much energy into that? If your life is more than a podcast, why would you be willing to kill over a podcast? There's so much on the line outside or of that Or hurt somebody shit. or put yourself in jail over a podcast. Wait. <laughs> Right, uh, but like uh, that's the thing, right, bro? Right. I'm listening uh, again. I'm listening. If they address me on a podcast, oh, right, and I would bro. talk back with, man, bro, these niggas better, suck. You feel me, right? Pro I hear you. Right. I'm responding back on a, a, a podcast, right? Meaning this, right? I'm not saying yo, you a bitch, you blah blah blah, right? I just said, bro, these niggas are are stuck at podcasting, right? So again. If those niggas say, yo, listen, because he said, yo, I'm stuck at podcasting. No, that's different. It's not different. It's, it's tell absolutely why. Tell different. Why it's different. It's absolutely different. Tell them why. Nigga, I'm, I, I'm a gang member. I'm on gang file. I'm nigga, like, nigga, no, I, no, I, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not talking about Flacco. I'm, I'm talking, talking about, about me. Though. You asked me. You, you talked told on yourself. You asked me, nigga. You told on yourself.
We're not talking about we got, no You more. just got mixed you up already. already. You literally just already. said the I'm same reason why you don't want him bringing up your name. And I'm giving you the well, reasons no, why. Because I'm comparing you to, I'm giving not you the, to him. Not even pull that. Up, I'm Blanco. giving you the reasons why, nigga. Up, Blanco. I didn't been under gang fire. Yeah. Nigga, I didn't been in gang nigga. cases, nigga. We just want to talk to you. Pull the up. fuck are you talking about, nigga? They done knocked on my door, served niggas pull papers and everything else. They tried to have a Rico on us, nigga. What are you talking about? So it's like, no, I don't want my name being brought up in that light. Oh, you're some big time gangster and all that. No, I'm not, you nigga. I'm a father, nigga, and I go to work, nigga. That's what I do, nigga. You just and I come do this podcast. That's, nigga, that's what I'm what saying. I do, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Like, my same reason. Reason. Yo, oh, can I like, like shit. what's up, back, back, uh, uh, wait, wait, can I, can I like just like, um, go ahead, we listen. Address that, right? Oh, right? Address it, bro. So look, right? Because look, because I feel like that whole thing, bro, was a big misunderstanding, right? So uh, maybe again, bro, like, it, it's like my ignorance, right? Right? It's but when, the quietest I ever seen, Mark. Said, right, yo, bro, like, he's a notorious gang member. I'm referring to, to like, bro, like, he's well-known, he's famous, right? Because, again, he's lit, he's popping podcasting niggas, right? I guess, like, he took it as, yo, he's notorious, he's out here killing niggas. And, bro, I just meant, like, bro, he's, like, he's well-known from Long Beach. As a gang member, but That's he took it as said. though I'm trying to get him locked up. That's not what you said, cuz it's on camera. That's not what you said. Yeah, I said, and you yeah, keep bro, bringing it up. Member. That's the cold part. Every time I look up, somebody sending me a clip of you bringing that shit. Like, why you keep bringing it up? That's weird. Let it go. Why you keep wait, bringing it up? When did I bring it up? Though? Nigga, you just nigga. brought it up, nigga, on the show with you and the fucking junkie and the dick sucker. You weirdo. The nigga was sitting there talking no, to you. Brought brought up the up. Brought no, up. he didn't, nigga. You said you was like, yeah, 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 like, hey, 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 like, no, hey, like, hey, actually, it's not nigga, why, like, you can't go That's what I'm saying. Stuff. And you want to be having conversations with these wrong, though, Trey, like, niggas, cuz that shit make me. But you're going to info because you're wrong right now. Be in these worlds. No, but he's not because you did it. Like, but you're wrong right now. The lust asked me. You is that weird, why you, you can't go to long face to face, face you wouldn't do this shit and that's the part that pisses you me off you want have a conversation you're not, you're not even man enough to pull up and have a conversation nigga that's the why cuz you're going to hurt him over words over a conversation and then you're going to claim he's not man enough that doesn't even make sense Bro, Bro, you're not even man enough Pull up to the smart studio, enough nigga, not to crash out over here, niggas you know that have nothing to do with you 90% of you niggas know what we had you come to nigga Y'all be acting like y'all don't know where we at. Y'all know where we at every motherfucking Friday. Come get that work. Nigga, you niggas hoes, nigga. Those niggas just aren't willing to crash out, Trey, over the podcast that you just said niggas are stupid for doing all this shit over because it, it's just a podcast. Niggas got shit going on outside of the podcast. So why are you, again, willing to risk all the shit that you have going on outside of the podcast? Bro, it just doesn't make any sense. So these niggas are probably about to scream on Flacco for another 10 minutes, bro. I don't got another 10 minutes to look at Trey and Ace Boy Pun uh, be old and wrong in front of Rios and Mark while they don't really say shit to Ace Boy Trey or Pun. The thing about this whole thing with Pun and Trey, to be honest, is that if you really listen, Trey talks a lot of shit about people who make content and are the viewers, really, if you understand what he's talking about. He calls all of them nerds. He says people who make this content and have this shit to say, do these things, have no life. But, bro, you're here reacting and doing the same exact thing that these people do weekly and swear that you're this big, bad gang member. But then you just said you didn't want to be known on tape or whatever as a gang member two to like maybe one minute to two minutes after saying you were not nah, maybe 30 seconds after saying you were a gang member like. And that you were on gang file. None of this. I don't know what's going on. Hey, let, listen. Let me uh, look. Listen, not lock. Listen, look. Listen. Let me know what y'all think down below, man. It's Drank. Welcome to Drank World. Appreciate y'all for fucking with this video. What do y'all think about Trey and Punk going out Flacco? Y'all think it's just old man hate, or you think they got a reason to stand on? You know what I'm saying? You think they got uh, uh, like a point? A point for real? I don't because everything that he's talking about, they've said on fucking video, so it doesn't really make sense. For them not wanting him to reiterate it. That's like being mad that he makes a tweet about some shit that you did on camera. Like he tweeted the video of you doing it. That don't even make sense. And now you mad. Come on, guy. Come on, y'all. Hey, like I said, subscribe, like, comment. Drop that comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about this whole situation with Trey and Flacco. Poetic uh, Flacco, Ace Boy Pun, Ace Boy Trey. The whole fucking no jumper, fig community world universe. Just... Let me know what y'all thoughts are on this whole fucking, this whole thing, man. A lot. Some of this shit could be coming to an end. Turn those notification buttons on so you can stay tuned and get my opinion on all this shit. Like I said, I'm out this shit. I appreciate y'all, man, gang.